I think there should be segregation when it comes to pros and DIYers and homeowners. You could go and buy all your stuff at like Home Depot or whatever. Um, and it, like you can go into my electrical supplier as, you know, Joey homeowner and go and get whatever you want. But if you go, what I don't like is that if you go to an HVAC supplier, you have to have an HVAC license to buy that stuff. So it's, it's true, you know, and I get it gas and um, the burn off, like the flu, that's dangerous too. But so is electrical. So is electrical. Right? Like, um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's a little bit of an off. You know, you there. bring up a good point. I think that suppliers should, like I've always said, I think there should be segregation when it comes to pros and DIYers and homeowners. Yeah, that's I right. don't think that any legitimate supplier offering whatever it is, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, or whatever it is, right, yeah. should treat the two groups the same. I'm right. sorry, they shouldn't. Because the pro has done their work and they've done their studies and they have years of experience, if anything, or even if they're getting started, they wanna have all those years, right? Yeah, that's right. They should be given front of the line status, almost like boarding a plane. You should right. be having an elite status at that point. The pros should all be elite status, get on the plane first and get taken care of first. And their price point should never be anywhere near the DIY price point.